Well, good morning. Oh, nice. There's my little snafu. I was thinking, how am I going to carry this around today with this kind of outfit on? Oh, well. You're not going to do it? Come on, Karen. You do everything else for me. What's that? Oh, I'm going to give you a little preacher. Let me tell you a little bit about this morning. We've got a lot of fun stuff planned. So I'm going to start with a little bit of a question. <clears throat> Will you beat average? What do I mean by that? Let me show you. Whoops. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I ruined it. All right. Just a little technology snafu to keep y'all alive, right? All right, let's try it again. It's out there. It's that voice in your head. Making sure you sleep through that yoga class. Convincing you that one donut hole couldn't possibly lead to another. Average. Average blames the camera for those extra 10 pounds and sets the treadmill on mosey or stroll or loiter. Need an excuse? Average has them all. Skip the gym. It'll probably be too crowded anyway. Average. Yeah, take it easy there, fella. Average has memory issues. I forgot to work out. I forgot to work out. And memory issues. I work out. It's crowning achievement. Everyone gets a trophy. Average is good. Average is good. No. Average is average. You can beat it. So don't you think the guy who forgot to work out looks like Brandon? Brandon, stand up. <laughs> I don't know how they did that. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Cook yeah, there are. <laughs> well, I tell you, I think this is a monumental day in the history books of Southeast Community College. And I think I've been t thinking it was a good time to take a moment just to reflect and pause about how we got to where we are today. And we did beat average. I mean, I was thinking about when I started, and I know we've got years of service people who've been here way longer than I have. Way, way, way longer than I have. <laughs> Some of you are pretty new. But even in 20 years ago when I started in radiology, we had one computer for four faculty, one phone that we shared. The, the, the building stopped at the gym. I know some of you even re don't even remember having the before the gym was here. And we, when we said Southeast Community College, there was one place that people went to. They didn't for, go, oh, you also have a place at 68? And those, oh, you're also downtown? We have grown so much in the last 20, 30 years under the guidance of Dr. Huck. And now the b baton is changing. And so I am really excited to call to the front of the room, or the back of the room, wherever he wants to stand. Dr. Paul Illich, and I'd like everyone here on the Lincoln campus to welcome him to Southeast Community College. Can you hear me? Well, I'm delighted to be here. Um, I will tell you that Bev actually just told me, the new president, she goes, you need to get out of the room. She likes to be front and center stage. So, <laughs> so I did that. Uh, what I thought I would do, she gave me 45 minutes. I'm not going to take 45 minutes. But what I, what I really want to do is let you know a little bit about me, introduce myself, and then I'm going to just give you, I, I promised everyone that I would not throw a bunch of data around. You'll find out that I'm very data driven, but I'm going to hold off on that. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, data, but I really want to just give you an, sort of a background <coughs> about myself, 
And then I want to sort of give you an understanding of what I think uh, we're going to be looking at in the next few months, kind of some of the things we're going to be, you're going to be hearing about. And uh, I know that you'll be very excited. Uh, we have some great opportunities. A little bit about, about me. I'm going to hold off on the pictures. I have some stories behind those, behind those pictures. Um, how many of you went to the forum when I came to do my interview? Wow. Okay, that's good to know. How many didn't go? <laughs> you're, you're all, raise your hand. You're all in trouble, big trouble. Um, well, most of you had a chance to, to, to uh, attend, it looked like, the forum. So you probably know that my background is in research and statistics. Um, I spent the last 17 years at McLennan Community College. Uh, the last seven years as a vice president, I was over technology, the <coughs> library, um, and I was also, of course, over research and planning. So what I've been doing the last seven years is implementing a variety of different sort of strategies to really sort of help the college do all kinds of things. For example, we, we grew from 5,000 to 10,000. Uh, we implemented a, a lot of new programs. We, um, the last five years, we basically transformed the college with about $77 million in uh, bond funds. We built 300,000 square feet of uh, facilities. And so sort of my background has been coming in and looking at things um, and looking at, at opportunities. And you're going to hear that word from me a lot, opportunities. But that's that's a little bit about me. Um, let me tell you, oh, the, I don't want to leave this out. This is real important. Uh, when I was talking to the board, uh, when they were sort of uh, my last round of interviews, um, they said, we noticed that you like to teach. I've been teaching for about 25 years. Um, I teach, I had the great opportunity to teach at Baylor University in the graduate department over there. And so I promised them I'd wait at least six months if, 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 if I could. Uh, but that is something I like to do if it's possible here and there to stay in the classroom. It's, I have great passion for that. Um, and that's something that we need to really be thinking about when we're all thinking about what we do, whether it's being in the classroom or um, working with facilities or working directly with students and student services. We're really here. I just went out the door when Bev kicked me out. Um, I went out the door and I saw three students sitting there trying to get registered or talking to the staff. And that's really what, why we're here. We're all about the students. And so sometimes it's easy to kind of, you know, not notice that because they're not always there. But everything we do has got to be about the students. So hear me talk about that quite a bit. But let's talk about my family. I want you to know me. One of the things I'm going to be trying to do, um, so just in a minute, I'm going to have Bev, everybody go around the room and introduce themselves. It's a joke. It's a joke. I'm kidding. Of course we can't do that. But I, I where's Linda? Okay, Linda, do you want to stand up? She, she didn't want to stand up. Okay, so Linda is going to help me. You could, um, I, Linda's going to, you're going to get it later, I promise you. Uh, Linda's going to help me develop a master plan to try to get to know all of you as much as I possibly can. So um, we're going to try to have a, she's going to you take my calendar and try to come up with a way to meet with as many groups as possible. I'll piggyback on to meetings that are already set. I'll try to do other things to meet, meet with folks. So that's my plan. So relationship building is going to be real important to me early on. And we're going to do lots of other things too, and I'll give you, give you some uh, information there. So uh, about me, I've got two pictures here. Um, so you see the picture on the left, that's me, and my wife, that's Gail. That, is, that particular picture has some meaning to it. So you see in the background, that's water. That's actually off the coast of Seattle. That's in Puget Sound right off. Has anyone been to Discovery Park? It's a beautiful park. Well, we're real into running, so we were out running. Uh, I think that was about a 12-mile run, and um, I was actually tired. My wife probably wasn't. But I said, why don't we stop? There was a guy there. We gave him our cell phone. He took a nice picture. That picture in Seattle, what was I doing in Seattle? I was at the Association for Community College Trustees uh, Conference. I did a presentation there. That's when, that picture was taken. That's when I first learned about SEC. Um, I found out that they were looking for a new president. So that's why I included that picture. So that's, part, that's the first part of the journey. Now, the picture to the right, uh, those are my children. My daughter is on the uh, left with a big smile. She has the same look. Every picture, though, she's got the same mouth, smile. I told her she, need, she needs to get a second look, at least. Um, then the the... The young man to the right, that's my wife's son, that's Jimmy. Aaron is the one to the left, that's my daughter. 
Jimmy's to the right. Uh, he just he's just he was actually in Ottawa in Kansas University playing tennis, but he decided to go back to um, go back to Waco. And the and the girl in the middle, that's Becky. She has a Nebraska shirt on. So here's the here's the importance of that picture. So there were three round of interviews for this position. The last round was in Waco, and there was a group of about six uh, six or seven board members and one faculty representative. They went to Waco to interview all kinds of folks. Um, that you know had worked with me. And that, by the way, I will mention that's the best position to ever be in, because the people that love you on your campus they will talk you up and say how awesome you are. The people that don't like you will talk you up and say how awesome you are. <laughs> so, so it was so funny because they were walking around going, "Oh, we got this guy. We come to his campus. We're gonna, we're gonna find up some dirt on him." I'm like, "No, you're not." No. So it's a great. So. That day that I was being interviewed, or they were interviewing everybody on the Waco campus, my uh, daughter there in the Nebraska shirt, she was, she's a junior. She, gra she was just graduated as a junior, not graduate. She just finished as a junior at Waco. She was fourth out of 500 in her class. So I didn't think there was any way I was going to talk her in. Before I, before I even applied for this position, I said, are you going to be able to handle this? And she got on the websites, looked at all the high schools, and she said, Paul, there's some really cute boys on those. <laughs> Next thing I know, she was like, you know, don't blow it. You need to get that job. Um, so, so she um, she decided for good luck she would wear a Nebraska shirt on the day of the last round of interviews. So that's the significance of that picture. Oh, okay. So what is this? This looks like a strange slide. This 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 is all about relationship building. This is what I did when I. Uh, I'll explain it. Basically, on the 27th of June, which was my last day in Waco, they threw me a surprise reception. You can't read that, but it says, Dr. Illich popped off to Nebraska. <laughs> and so everybody had a chance to sign. And I made it purposely sort of from a distance so you can't see exactly what they wrote, because some could be bad, some could be good. But uh, I put this up there, because this is really what, we're, this is what it's all about. We have to, I can't do it alone. The, uh, my administrative team cannot do it alone. Um, the faculty can't do it alone. Everybody has to work together. So that's one of the first things I really want to do is to build some relationships and get to know the culture and exactly how you do things. Um, so you'll, you'll see me being very active uh, doing that. And I, I heard Bev say something. I did sort of cheat. I kind of snuck a little bit into the door. But so what you're seeing on, on the left, and I'll, and I'll talk about that in a second, but on the left, I put that as an example of change. So this was a huge change for me. Coming from Texas, one day I got in my truck. I made 11 to 12 trips from Waco to um, Lincoln. One day I got in my truck and it was 82 degrees, and I was feeling pretty good. It was nice. By the time I got to Kansas, it was 31. This was in April. <laughs> <laughs> and it was snowing. <laughs> and I thought, there's something wrong with these people. And then by the time I got, I, I was on Highway 81. By the time I got to Highway 80, turned right. Um, I was going to do 136 through Beatrice, but it was snowing. So I thought, that's a bad idea. But they shut the highway down right after I think I just arrived. But, so this is, a, this is a big change. By the way, fireworks here are huge. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you, you can't do fireworks in um, Texas. You'll burn the whole state down. Um, <laughs> But here, they don't care. I, I, just, I saw balls of lan lanterns floating across the sky. And I said, is, is, that, like a, is that like a little battery-operated light? They said, oh, no, that's fire. <laughs> so I, I mean, some parts of the culture, it's going to take me longer to learn than others. But anyway, so it was a big, big move. Um, but this, I wanted to put this up there to talk about change. So change. This change has done something that I didn't expect it to do to the magnitude that it did. It, I've discovered, I know more about Nebraska than I thought I would ever know. Um, and so change is, this, is an opportunity for discovery. So we're going to be making some changes down the road. And I'm going to tell you about how we're going to be making those changes. They're not going to be random. Not, we're not going to make a change just to make a change. We're going to base everything on, we're going to build a strategic plan. Uh, our current plan, the long range plan, just, just expired, right? in 2014, this, this month. And so we're going to be building a strategic plan. So we're going to be doing some things differently, but it's going to be based on data. And uh, that 
actually minimizes the risk from, for making you know, a mistake. When we say making a mistake, that can actually be in the form of, well, we thought there was a program over here that we really needed to add, and it turns out the demand was too low, but that cost a lot of resources. That takes resources that we <coughs> can not, no longer use on some other program. So I'll explain that just in a, a minute. Now, this other picture on the right, I wanted to, it's hard to see uh, with the light, but that's a picture of Dr. Hook and myself. At, that's actually at my house, and he's handing me over the keys to his car. I had to kind of jerk him out of his hand. <laughs> but, um, my arm is still a little bit sore. But, um, no, I, he has been really, really wonderful during this transition. I've shadowed him. I've gone to board meetings. Uh, sometimes he gave me the wrong direction, so I'd show up late. <laughs> um, but other than that, it's, it's been really, really good. He's uh, really been uh, gracious. Um, and as I heard Bev talking about, he's really set us in, at a place uh, that's a really nice place to be. And what we're going to be doing is where can we go from here? And I can promise you this, just from looking at things very early on, there are some places we can go, grow. There are some, there are some opportunities here, and we're going to find those opportunities and we're going to go after them, and we're going to align resources uh, to do that. And we'll, I'll mention that just a little bit more in a second. I'm not going to go. I'm, I promised uh, Bev that I wouldn't go into a lot of detail with data and that sort of thing. So I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of information about what's going to happen in the future. Um, planning for the future, relationship building, I talked about that, because we have to have that to move forward. But we're absolutely going to be building a strategic plan um, we're going to be setting goals, setting objectives. We're going to have an institutional plan, and then underneath all of that, it, it will be pretty similar to what you're accustomed to, but we're going to have uh, SEC-wide goals and objectives, um, and we're going to be going after those with, within our departments um, as we develop strategies. Um, but this is real important. So once you figure out where you want to go, you have to make sure you're, you're ready to go after whatever particular um, goals that you have. How do you do that? Well, it's really difficult to do. If those goals represent new activities or new initiatives, you're probably you're going to have to have resources. So we're going to have to figure out how to prioritize those resources and align them with where we want to go. But it keeps things logical if someone says, well, why did so-and-so get a new program and I didn't? The idea would be, well, it's not about this person or this person. It's about, as an institution, what, what should be our priority? So we're going to be, and that's really we're really, what we're really here for is one reason. That's we're trying to make sure we meet the demand for higher education for all of our service areas. So the first thing you have to do is are we, ask yourself a question. Are we currently meeting the demand? For, we're going to find, we're going to, we're going to answer that question. And if we're not, we're going to make sure we are meeting the demand. And we're going to, then you can keep adding to the demand based on uh, what, what you're doing. Um, the only, oh, let me go back here. I'm, okay. The one thing that's not on, on this um, chart that I want to mention, um, I think all, all of you are aware that we've, over the last couple of years, it's not unique to SCC, uh, community colleges actually for the first time in the nation experienced a drop in enrollment in 2011. That was reported by the National Center for Education Statistics. That's not a small thing. Think about that. I mean, that's really unusual to see that. Um, SCC has also experienced uh, a drop uh, since that time. And so one of the things we're going to do sooner rather than later is we're going to look at kind of how we're set up in terms of courses and programs, and we're going to see if there's any opportunities to go after some uh, enrollment growth that might, might be there uh, earlier rather than later. So that's something we're going to be looking at. Um, because what, if, if you're not meeting the student demand, then you're not, we're not completely fulfilling our mission. So that's something we're going to be uh, doing um, as, as soon as we can. So we're not, not waiting on, on things. Because that's an automatic situation if you've got some opportunities that are there. Um, there's already demand. We'll make sure we, we go after that. So I, want, I didn't put that out on the slide, but I wanted to make sure everyone understood <coughs> that we are definitely conscious of that and want to uh, move forward. I want to do something. I want to ask my administrative team to stand up. Um, Bev's already standing up. So let's see we've got. Who else we got? OK, we've got Bruce and uh, Dennis. Anyone else? Well, what I want to point out is that the, what we're doing, 
when I'm up here talking, it's not about me. It's just about me. It's about uh, all of us. And, our, and I'm, we're going to be working together as, as an administrative team um, and moving forward. Now, can I have all the faculty stand up? Wow. I'm sure glad I talked about teaching. <laughs> all right, thank you. And all of the staff. Okay. Now, one, one last thing I want to do. Could everyone stand up? All right, this is who we are. We're SCC, we're all one. So this is, what, this is how we're going to move forward. All right, we can all sit down. I don't feel so special when you're all standing up. Now I'm going to do something kind of dangerous, and then I'm going to, are we good on time? Anyone have any questions of me? I Really, I'll take any questions. No? I, I, it's really difficult when you're in a room this size to... To uh, have people uh, ask you questions. Anyway, I'm delighted to be here. I'm very excited. We have a lot to do. I will do everything I can to, to get a chance to meet each of you. Um, I really appreciate what you do. We're all about the students, but you know we can't help the students if you guys do not take your you know if you're not really passionate about what you're doing. And I know you are. So I'm very excited to be here and uh, look forward to the uh, first quarter. No questions. I should have planted a question. I should have done that. All right. Well, have a great day. Thank you, Dr. Illich. Now, you're on the road again to Milford. Is that where you go next? Yes. I just came from uh, Beatrice, and now I'm going to Milford. Super. All right. Well, thank you for stopping in and joining us. We really appreciate it. And just so you know, you fed right into my next part, so I appreciate that. <laughs>